Someone once said that where all major religions or traditions agree, we should take a very special interest, a very special look at that point of agreement. And that's where the perennial philosophy uh, is of interest. And that's where the center, they're very big on saying, now look, just because you're in a Hindu culture, uh, just because we're Hindu, don't become a Hindu. Uh, they're a non-evangelical culture. Uh, they had on the grounds a uh, place that you could go, whatever your tradition is, just about every tradition, I suppose. And for the Christians, there was a shrine um, of uh, the of Mary holding the baby Jesus, uh, and and so they very much encourage us to remember that this is not something that is a prelude to converting to a different tradition, but to enhancing your own tradition. Uh, and so in my case, Christianity. That said, again, you know, I was in a country with, you know, 80, 90 percent Hindu people. I was the guest uh, at an ashram uh, run by Hindu people. And so uh, one of the joys of the trip was being able to interact with folks from different traditions. And there were people from all over the world. There were a handful of us from the U.S., but mostly uh, people from uh, India or um, we had people from Trinidad. Holland, for some reason, they had a lot of people there. I don't know what goes on in Holland that they send a lot of people to the ashram. But there were a lot of people from Holland there. and uh, And from different religious backgrounds, or maybe no religious background. I was there as a student, but also because I'm on the board of the Meditation Center, um, I was asked to do some additional duties uh, during my time there. And they were doing uh, a Hindu ceremony um, to benefit our center. And so they pulled me out of class one day and said, could you sit for five hours on a marble floor um, and, and be part of what's called a Lakshmi uh, Puja. And this takes place in a tent, and it is a, it's a Hindu fire ceremony. And it starts with uh, the priests setting up the tent uh, and the fire pit uh, by creating sand uh, mandalas around the fire pit and then putting up fruits and vegetables and candy and offerings to God. And what they do is first they feed, um, you know, they have, uh, I, I guess it would take too much time to go into their, their vision of how they picture God, but um, they access the God Lakshmi through the fire or God or the God Agni. And so they feed the fire and then you know, ask for uh, access to Lakshmi and then for whatever benefits she provides. And they do this by throwing food into the fire and then constantly uh, chanting. And they would chant every day from about 9 in the morning until 5 at night, taking a break um, you know, a couple times during the day. But they did this for 21 straight days. I found five hours of it a lot. Uh, myself, but it was fascinating to watch, and it was, uh, you know, a moment that I was just very privileged to be a part of. Uh, is any time you're at a ceremony of another tradition, whether it's a Jewish wedding or a Hindu fire ceremony, you're always going to learn something new about the God uh, that you understand, or that God as you understand God. And, and so and that was true for me as well. And so sitting in these fire ceremonies, um, I actually did it twice. Uh, while a little bit rigorous, um, uh, was, was really a pleasure and uh, enjoyable to see. We uh, would, to get back to the schedule, uh, our classes would take us to dinner time. And um, that was about 6 o'clock. Uh, rice, potatoes, eat mindfully, and uh, and then more classes. And finally, at 9.15 at night, we were done. 
And so the day was 4.15 in the morning to 9.15 at night. And so even though we had these nice cottages with like a front area, I had my own porch, uh, you never got to use it because you're up so early, you're you know, eating mindfully during the meals and or doing chores, uh, or at night, by the time we got done, we were so exhausted, you know, we'd pop into bed and just fall right asleep. It was, it was just possibly one of the more rigorous things I've ever been through in my life, but great.